Hi, Brenda here. I'm trying to set my camera just right so that you're right on top of what I'm doing. There. Hopefully you can see. I was just going to make some skins today. I'm out here in my studio, which is a travel trailer. We don't use it anymore, so... I get to use it for a studio. So I put my spinner under there. So what I have right here is a probably, which I can't remember. This is the largest mat that they have at fluidart.co. Um, it even says fluidart.co right here in the corner. So this is how I make skins. I'm not trying to make a composed picture. Just trying to make skins. Um, because I wanted to make um, some more optical glass. And I wanted to make some uh, butterflies. If I can... I'll have to uh, mix up some purple later. So I can make some butterfly um, skins for butterflies, and then I can put them in the butterfly frames. So, what I have right here is a white pillow, and it's um, what I use for a pillow paint is Color to Go from Sherwin Williams. It's about ten dollars a can unless it's on sale <laughs> and then my odd colors today <clears throat> my really odd colors are hammerhead from this little piggy this little piggy is a um, pigment I just love them and I mix it with uh, bear 8300 and just Sonia varnish so pretty that's hammerhead when they oh when they do a new color they give out little samples to some people uh, occasionally and I was so excited because I got hammerhead just a little sample pack and then I had um, I also got deja vu the next time okay, so that's hammerhead this one is a very expensive color called boastful it's a uh, not exactly this little piggy although it's made from the same brand it's um, it's called boastful it's about fifty dollars hold on let me let me see if I can find it really quick Cleaning up, so I put all of my pigments away. Well, I can't find it because I have to redo my pigments. But it's called Boastful. It's a color change. See how it changes color? It's better on a black pillow. But um, it's called Stuck Up Pigs. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it changes to like an inky blue from a green. Okay, so that's boastful. And then I have tail feather. That's also from this little piggy. Here it is. I'm stirring it up. So the um, the pouring medium that I use. Look how pretty that is. This little piggy is just beautiful. Um, the pouring medium that I use is Bare 8300. It's a really thick house paint. And then I thin it down with um, water. And you have to disperse it with just Sonia varnish. So there's lots of videos out there. And you can also join this Shelly Art, Art course. Uh, it's less than $100. And she'll teach you all her secrets. <laughs> but there's lots of people out there that are willing to 
uh, give you her secrets for free on their videos. Now the interference color that I chose today is, who knows, where did I put it? I didn't write it on there. Um, I believe that this is how can I not remember? Well, I, I did mix this two days ago. I always mix mine. It's ball gown. And I always mix mine um, a couple days in advance. You don't have to. But it just seems much creamier and smoother. And this one is different. This last one I want to show you is Guatemala Green, which is a primary elements color. See how pretty that is? Mixed with... Oops. Turquoise phalo. Um, I love this color so much. I even wrote love on it. It's such a beautiful color. <laughs> so, so, so since I've discovered that the primary elements, which are beautiful pigments, um, tend to, they just kind of disappear. And I don't like that because they're so beautiful. They're not actually pigments. They're some type of a dye. I'm not sure what they are, but I don't know. Don't quote me. Anyway, I always mix them with a tube paint. Look at that beautiful color I got. So these are the strange colors I'm using. I think they're strange. This isn't my normal color palette. Um, I just kind of wanted to step out of the box, you know, because I'm all about blues and purples, and these are all greens. You know, they're not, and they're not really bright. They're not techno or anything. I do have a little bit of yellow left that I can put on here. Tiny bit of yellow. I could probably put that on there. It's just yellow tube paint. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to set these off to the side. This board is so big. This board that I'm using is what I use for my spinner when I have to spin something really large. I have another one over there. So this whole thing will be going over to my spinner. And I'll try to turn this so that you can look that direction and see me spinning. Then you get to see my whole paint splattered trailer. But I lost my little holder. So um, for my tripod. So this thing that you're watching on is mounted to the table and you're, you're where I am. Okay. So I poured about for this large uh, mat, I poured about a quarter of my, or almost half of my, my paint. And because I like big, I like to do things big. I'm just one of those people. I'm wild and flashy and everybody's always surprised when I'm not. Okay, so I'm going to use, you can get all of these at um, fluidart.co, fluidart.co. It's all over. Okay. I'm not getting any discount from them. The thing I like about them is they're really um, a good company and they give you uh, free shipping if you go over $150, I think. So I'm just going to use this one, I think. I'm going to make several swipes. <laughs> um, so I think that's it. I think we can start. And I, I do have my my cell juice over here, which is the um, Australian Floetrol and Amsterdam black with some golden fine gold. So, I think I have enough cell activator to do what I want to do. I'm going to put, I'm going to put hammerhead down first. So, I want to make a large skin. So, I'm going to have to put a lot of paint. Because I want the skin to be about at least out to here, hopefully, because of all the pillow paint I use. 
and I'm not going to mind if this stretches out because this is just for making magnets and, and um, jewelry and paperweights. It's not going to be a picture. Okay, hammerhead. I think on top of the hammerhead, I'm going to put some tail feather because I think the bolstol is going the boastful is um, going to look really good. Now I don't want you to think that the this, this little pig piggy pigments are around fifty dollars. They're not. Just the stuck up pigs. And you get a little jar. It's rather expensive. But it's a color change and it's gorgeous. And I mean I tried all of their color change and I like boastful the most. So I'm gonna do my my custom blend here of primary elements and tube paint golden because golden is my favorite tube paint. Also like some Josanya tube paints. I'm kind of layering these on purpose this way because what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe a certain direction kind of through. So even though I'm layering these, um, not layering them, I'm laying them next to each other, I'm hoping that they pull on top of each other. So let's see what happens. I always have to think about what it is I want it to look like. Sometimes I pile them on top of each other in layers because that's the look I'm going for. Okay, I already used tail feather. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of this yellow. I don't know, maybe just just a little bit because I want to bring some brightness. I can't help it. So everything has to be bright. Okay, just a little bit. And I'm going to put my boastful down. And I want it on top of the green. It's a Guatemalan green. And I want some on top of the hammerhead and the tail feather. So I'm really curious to see what it's going to look like. Okay, so that's my, I, just, I don't want to use too much. It's precious. So then what I do is I like to use my interference because it gives me these little bubbles. I just love little bubbles of color for my cells. I'm going to put this here. Just drizzling it around. Okay. Now, it's really important that I take my pointy stick, excuse my reach, <laughs> and I'm going to put my hand right in my pillow paint, which that's really important. You have to do that. Jeez. Um. I'm going to pop all of my bubbles because if I don't, when I do a swipe, I don't know much about blooms because I'm not too good at it, but when I do a swipe, if I don't pop my bubbles, they spread out and they kind of ruin my composition. I mean, you can tell which cells are bubbles and which cells are cells. Sometimes when I have a smaller board and I go over to my spinner, I drop it on my spinner really hard to get the bubbles out. And it almost always works. And I don't really want to use heat. So I'm just checking to make sure there's no more bubbles. I don't like it when I see pieces with bubble smears in them. So here's my cell activator, the super secret juice that you can learn from anybody on the internet or Shelly uh, Art. She's from Australia. She's pretty awesome. She has a really good course. I love her classes. They're online. And I put the... I wasn't getting the cells I wanted, so I put the, uh, the, um, the golden. That's my trick. Plus, I like gold and everything. Golden, fine gold. 
put that in there and it just made a huge difference. Sometimes I use titanium white. So, and I'm not going to be using a lot of colors today. I'm just going to be doing this once with one color. Now, if you get uh, too much cell activator on your palette knife, you get these great big monster cells that are really round. I don't know why it reminds me of a bubble gum machine. It's a lot of bubble gums in it. I like little cells. I like some big cells. Mostly I like a nice composition of little and big cells. Now, if you take Shelly's class, you'll be able to learn how to put even more colors on your palette knife and swipe with the colors on your palette knife, too. And she has recipes for multiple um, uh, cell activators. I only use black or white. Sometimes I use green, but I don't have a recipe for um, using my pigments. I mean, I could get it because I'm, I'm in the group and I'm in the class. I just haven't looked at it. It took me two years just to learn how to do this. Um, that's why I'm doing this for you guys, so that you'll know how to do it. So I have Pella paint from Sherwin-Williams. All of my paints, and most of them are pigments. I layered them this way because I'm thinking about what I want it to look like. I used an interference, which is just a usually a white transparent color for over the top. And I have my cell activator. I'm going to make cells. And, um, and then I'm going to go spin it out, and I'll try to point the camera over there. I don't know how successful that will be, um, so that you can see it, so I can have a big skin. And you can watch me spin it out, maybe. Okay. I'm going to go this way. Can you see the bottom? Dumping it off over here. And I'm going to take a paper towel. I don't know. I don't have a good... I don't have a good assistant in here to keep me supplied like Kathleen Miller does. Her husband, he, uh, he, he helps her get all set up and make sure she has her paper towels. Okay. I love Kathleen, by the way. All right. It's all clean. See my cells? I like those. Aren't they pretty? And here's the bigger ones because I had more cell activator where I started. What a mess. Okay. One more time. Now you can see I drug my pillow paint into it right here. I really don't like that and I really wish that I hadn't done that. But I did, so. Oh well. I mean, some people like it. Luckily this isn't really paint, it's primer. The Sherwin-Williams stuff. So I don't hate it as much. But I don't like it that much either. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down this way. See those big see those big holes? That's what I was talking about. Those are bubble holes. Ah, darn it. I didn't see the bubbles. You guys need to tell me these things. The bubbles must have come up while I was running my mouth. Okay. <laughs> so you got to give it a little while to, you know, make cells. Obviously, that's a wash. I can do something with that. I'll show you. So the reason I came this way was to kind of cover the pillow paint that came into the painting. So we can see the hammerhead. There's the boastful. There's that Guatemalan green, and there's some more boastful, some tail feather. That's really pretty. Do you see how that went? Okay. So. I mean, I'm not really attached to how this looks because I'm after these cells, but I do want them to be wrecked. Especially later when I do the butterfly one. It's going to be really important that I get these swirls. And again, I don't want all of the cells to be wrecked. I just want some of them 
because I think it's so pretty, but not consistently. I mean, not all of them. So I'm getting that 3D pattern right there. And then right here, it's got this little black streak, so I'm just going to do this, and hopefully I'll get a few skins out of that. Now you don't really want to dig into the pillow paint, but I have this pretty thin here. Okay. Down here. You, you might, if, you're, if you've never swiped before, you probably don't need to wreck it, because I've seen new people, they just like wreck the heck out of it. That isn't what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get some movement for some skins. And I kind of know what it'll look like when I um, spin it. Because I've spun a lot of them. See that little piece of white right there? Don't do that. Make sure that you wipe your stick off in between every rack. One of these days, I'll do a comb over, which is what we learned in the Shelly Art class. Um, but what I'm doing right now, I learned from Kathleen Miller. She's, well, she's a lot better than this, but anyway, okay, that's good enough. Stop, Brenda. These kind of look like um, turquoise. Now, how I'm going to get you to look over there, I'm not sure. But I'm going to work on it, and I'll just cut that part of the video out. So I need to go spin this. Straighten it out. So here's my spinner. Pardon the mess. Here's another um, tester I got from Fluid Art Company. But I bought the whole bottle of Deja Vu because I love it. Or no, that's, um, I don't know what this. Okay, yeah, Dave's on there. Okay, so I'm going to spin this. Sorry about the noise. Everything's kind of, you know, I'm doing the best I can with this big spin. It's doubled up. At least it can't, um, come flying off. These big ones are harder to do. Okay. So I wanted to come this way a little bit more, so I'm going to pull my skin this way. I hope that it goes that way. I should just put it on my floor, but then I'd have things all over the floor. I don't know And I want them to be pretty thin. I don't really like super thick skins, but also they can't be very thin or they'll just shred. So. And the whole reason I'm even using this board is because it has to be supported. And you can make a skin on a, a little piece too. You don't have to go as big as me. If I could, I would spin something as big around as this puppy pool. So I have plastic everywhere. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, one more time maybe, just for fun. I'm starting to come off the edge. Okay, so now I just have to put this on a level board. It's really important that you have a level board. I'll come over here and get you. I'll bring you down for a look. Super important that you have a level a level place. If it's not a level board, at least make sure that your table is level. 
where you put it. Okay. Oops. <clears throat> so here you are. This is what it looks like now. Look at that pretty hammerhead. Those are going to make some really look good looking um, magnets and stuff. Here's the butterfly look I was talking about right there. Some more light. Isn't that pretty? So I have all different colors and all different textures. There's some more butterfly wings. And this great big skin. And here comes the color shift. Look at the boastful. This is the boastful. Look. See how it's blue that way? And it's green. And it's blue. That is what boastful does. That's why it's so expensive and it's just gorgeous. Look at this. I got some of the hammerhead in the middle of the boastful. That's so pretty. Anyway, and then see these places out here? I won't use that because it's not level out there. My friend could use it maybe. Yeah, I'll get a lot of nice magnets out of this. If you have any questions let me know and I promise you when I make some more magnets or um, those paperweights I'll make a video for you so you can see these especially when I do the board things here let me show you the board things now I have to admit that I broke my butterfly but here's the bee see the bee now if you want one of these um, I can I can get you one of these. It have it can be a moth or a butterfly, or um, a dragonfly. My friend Ezra he makes these, so let me show you. So you have this, and this you would paint probably black. I'm going to paint this black I think, or maybe black and yellow. I don't know. And then you can put your skins on here. See. I'm going to make some yellow and black skins for the middle. And then I'm going to do the wings, probably purples and um, ball gown. Put it together, glue it together, and put a, something to hang it on the wall. It's going to look so great. It's going to be so pretty. Anyway. All right. Well, you guys have a nice day. Thanks for watching my video. I'm sorry if I made you dizzy.